Hey everyone, Jalance here, and today we're outside NYC Halal Eats in Troy, Michigan. Yes, that's right, Troy, Michigan, just kind of north of Detroit. Here doing an absolutely giant, in fact, the biggest, 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 biggest challenge I've done in a long time. We're talking about 12 to 13 pounds of NYC, like really traditional New York, like kind of halal street eats, if that kind of makes sense. Being a whole bunch of cheesesteaks, we have gyros, we have loaded fries, um, and they're huge. This is crazy, like chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna get you the details of what all we have, but from my understanding, it is five different cheesesteaks, pretty much the whole menu of cheesesteaks. Then a, I think it's two gyros, and then a big thing of their loaded fries. I think they have two kinds. One's called a Salido fry, which is like a chicken version. The other one is the cheesesteak, kind of more beef version. Uh, but anyway, we'll go uh, eat food. I'll give you some more details. Uh, I know we're gonna have one hour to complete it. And yeah, it's like 12 or 13 pounds. That's daunting. So let's go have some fun, let's eat food. In. Let's go. All right, so here with all the food. It is absolutely giant. This is the way bigger platter than I was anticipating, but it looks really good. I mean, look at the size of this freaking sandwich. Look at this. I like, that's amazing. All right, so in front of me, I have um, two of the traditional NYC Phillies here. We have the NYC loaded Philly, which has like French fries, matzo sticks, a whole bunch of cheese, chicken fingers. I then have the big ash, which is the chicken sandwich here, the chicken sub with a buffalo, also the lovely looking white sauce on it. I have their Salido fries, which again is a chicken loaded fries, which is very, very delicious. I have two of their massive, massive, massive gyros, euros, whatever you want to call them here. And then I also have the big sal here, which is the Philly with the uh, matzo sticks in it as well. So yeah, that's about it. 60 minutes to do so. Looks like a lot of food, um, but yeah, $80 if we fail. So with that, we can start here just momentarily. I don't know, I definitely need all the luck that I can get today. Like I said, this is, uh, this is quite a daunting plate of food, but looks awesome. So I don't really know where to start. Um, so maybe I'll just start with, uh, I'll start with one of these steaks maybe, and then I'll move into some of the uh, euros. I don't know, like I said, we have so many items. Maybe right? we'll start with this one here. So this is the big, the big salad. We got the matzo sticks on there. All right, well, how about we even start it? It's some real nice breads as well, guys. They're coming all the way from New Jersey. So uh, how about we can start with the count of five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna see. That is a good steak. Got the peppers and onions in there. Really nice flavor. Hey everyone, welcome to the video today. We're here at NYCS New York City Halal Eats in Troy, Michigan. So just a bit out of Detroit. Can we get some little fries, please? Yeah. Thank you. Shout out that bread, that bread is delicious. Mm -hmm. Here we are doing a giant New York style kind of street food slash halal food challenge. It really holds its shot. Uh, yeah. Hold this form, it's texture. So there is literal lyrics from Cardi B saying, like, I'm in New York eating halal, and that just goes to show how well known kind of these traditional street foods, these halal foods are known in New York. One being like the Euro, the New York Euro kind of coming out of the side cart on the street, the food truck, like such a traditional item. Um, same goes for, you know, the steaks, the cheese sticks, guys, just kind of that tri-state area, such a important item. I guess you guys don't have these flyers. Oh, uh, <laughs> you can marry over it. A little bit like some music and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that, that bread looks and sounds amazing. Like how it's really excited. It's a firm quality bread. Integral item to be served in that area. And these are all ribeye steaks, very, very good. So the cheese steaks, as you can see, were absolutely massive. The chicken sub there was absolutely massive. I couldn't believe the size of that thing. The euros were absolutely massive and the loaded fries were absolutely massive. 
Well, that was very good. Definitely with the uh, with those breads. It is very delicious. It holds its weight, that's for sure. Wow, this is a huge jar. Holy crap, look at this. Just look at it. Looks gorgeous, though. Oh yeah, those sauces and everything. So we have absolutely giant portions here that is without a doubt. Um, so let's actually talk a little bit more about the food. Um, so of course we had like the traditional steak, we had the NYC, you know, loaded steak with the matzo sticks. That is really okay. uh, the, the taste of New York. The White sauce, hot sauce. Um, the kids chicken tenders. Oh yeah, two chicken patties, two dino patties, one loaded filly, one loaded fries, and one yeah, and the kids chicken. I know Woo! You didn't order eight chicken Eight chicken Yeah, sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. Okay. I was like, come on. Okay. Okay. So, come on. Nice and saucy. One thing which really separated kind of these cheesesteaks uh, compared to a lot of other places is the bread. So these breads are actually coming from New Jersey. They are a semolina flour. Um, it is a really kind of, uh, we'll say, it is a bread that it will want. It, it seems absolutely, it is so fresh coming out of the kitchen there. You can definitely tell that. So we're going for a while. This is a lot of food. Woo. Ain't no skipping here. All right. We'll try one of the, uh, the you know, regular fillies here. Anything to drink? Yeah, you can hear that bread. Um, they just kind of like grill it a bit, so it has a real nice crisp kind of crunch to it. But what is undeniable is just it really holds its texture. A little juicy. Make sure there's a little side by the way. White and hot? I'll some more of the white sauce and barbecue sauce here as well. I want to use any of those. So a lot of places will give you a cheesesteak and the bread is really soft. It'll fall through the bottom, um, you know, but these will not do that. So if you want a bread which is going to stand its ground, is going to stay firm and like not, let's say, disintegrate while you eat, even if you have, you know, again, a sandwich the size of the two on the left like just an absolutely preposterously large sandwich it will not fall apart the euros were really delicious as well i loved the flavors the sauces you know kind of that traditional white sauce and everything on there it was just awesome um, such a nice taste and it really did taste just like i was in new york city eating, you know from basically one of the like integral parts of uh, you know like the food carts um, or whatever you want to call them there. So we're just over six and a half minutes in. Loving these steaks. Very, very good. Um, so it's kind of like the general, I'd say, insight to the food. Everything definitely was tasting really good. I loved the actual steak that they used on the cheesesteaks. And they did have like the peppers and the onions in there. Some people feel that is not traditional. They did have it here at NYC. Um, so pretty much I think it's the majority of the info we did have one hour to complete the challenge I knew we were going to need it this was like 12 pounds of food or maybe even a bit more which was absolutely crazy um, you know I'll talk a little bit more about the taste as we go through the items here so I'll leave you to that all right delicious I'm a big fan of that that just even traditional cheesesteak But yeah, just kind of the basic background. So definitely if you're ever in the Detroit area, guys, you're looking for, let's say, a really hearty kind of cheesesteak, looking for a nice New York Euro, you just want to taste New York City, definitely this is a great place for you. Hi, everyone. 
It's a little bit shredded. Woo! Delicious. These are the biggest subs I have right here. I'm gonna break into this one here, the big ash. We got all the chicken. Beautiful, huge, 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 huge chicken tenders. These are buffalo. I don't think, like, that's not even a bite. That is that is bigger than my head, so I think I have to dissect this a bit. But super crispy chicken head coming out of that grill there, or the fry. Mm. Mm. Nice flavor on that. Spicy though. This is their house made hot sauce. I'm about eight and a half minutes into it. Okay. This is still massive. Serious sandwiches here, everybody. That doesn't taste good though. Woo. Let me know how many of these sandwiches you think we're gonna get through before my stomach blows up. So like give me a hashtag one, hashtag two, hashtag three. And at that, let's tune on in. I really look forward to you also letting me know which of these sandwiches you think is your favorite. Um, so yeah, and I'll also talk about, well, hopefully I'll get to try them all. And if I do, I'll get to talk about all the tastes there. So with that, let's get to the rest of the video. It's actually a bit of heat on that. The great flavor. Super impressive. Just over 10 minutes in, and do. Eating all of New York City and chill. Very delicious. Steaks were great. Super impressed with the Euro, and honestly, this chicken sandwich honestly is blue, has blown my mind. But they are huge. I can't believe. This is the normal size. Super impressive, everybody. I think we're at 12 and a bit minutes in. That was awesome. Very awesome. All right. Let me try to pull my sleeves up a bit. It's getting messy. But it's well worth it. That's good food. I will get messy for good food. Oh, holy jumps. All right. Let's try this freaking NYC loaded, guys. This is absolutely giant. I didn't even know, like I said, chicken, matzo sticks, fries, plus a full cheese steak. I think this is probably like, I don't know, two and a half, three pounds itself. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. Somebody open that for me. Please open that for me. Thank you. All right, again, this is, I don't think I can even take a bite of that. Like. I don't know how to, yeah, thank you so much. That's a big bite, guys. Man, play it here. Like I said, this is almost too big to bite. I got fork some of this.
Alright. I'm gonna tell you this stuff, guys. This one is giant. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of food. It really was loaded. It is. Big Kim. We overload, not overtired. Yeah, yeah. Big one. <laughs> Jeff is starting to get some meat sweats heat up a bit. Might pull the sweater off. Woo. That being said, very, very delicious. Try some of this barbecue sauce. Oh. See that's all about. All right, 19 minutes in. Woo! Got some sun coming in. Might be some weird lighting, but oh, it's a lot of food. It's kicking my butt a little bit, not gonna lie. Um, I'll probably do the uh, other steak, then the gyro, and then we're on to the fries. Oh, you can do it. It's a lot of food, thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. You'll always smash. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Oh, those are big burps or some big, big sandwiches. I can't believe how heavy these are. Crazy. Very much for juicy though. Being business. Oh boy. Alright guys. Slowly but surely. Making our way. Oh. Alright everybody. I believe 24 and a half minutes. Oh, last two bites of the steaks. Whoa, delicious, but man, it's kicking my butt. A lot, a lot of food. Get some air out. Oh, okay. Gyro, a massive, massive plate of fries. This itself is incredibly heavy. Jeez, the ladies. That just bends the, wow. And it's on vacation. Yeah, we're in for a, we're in for a ride. Still very good, just as good as the first one. A lot of food, but absolutely delicious tasting, very moist. These go down real easy. Big old plate of fries, that's for sure. Looks Good. delicious though, that chicken as well. Chipotle sauce on it. Oh. You can do it. Half on mark. Thank you. 
Lots of cheese in here as well. About 30 minutes in. Yeah. Do you have a glove? Yeah, you can move over. Alright, I know where he's going. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen this show before. I'm just going to dive in. It's way quicker than this right. storm. But he's probably eating technique. I'm beautiful. <laughs> This will make this go a little quicker. Okay. Let's rock and roll. We got feedback? No. Somebody watching the street like somebody's doing? Okay. Much quicker. A lot of cheese in here though. A lot of sauces, a lot of chicken. That could be big good. Just ignore the guy who's eating too much food, right? <laughs> For all day long, you had some fries. Bites and you're done. About 36 and a half minutes, everybody. A lot of food, but we're coming in. Definitely a marathon today. Fries are basically done. We just some cleaned up. And I see the end. I see the plate. Woo! And we are oh, done. Right. Woo! What's up there? Alrighty, man, so just finished up. About 41 minutes, 53 seconds. I tell you what, that was a ride. 
That was a lot, a lot of food. That was probably like, you know, legit 12 pounds of NYC. Yeah, I absolutely loved the cheese steaks. They were super moist, super juicy. They're actually huge though. Like the loaded one was fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And like, I just couldn't believe how big and girthy it was. Definitely that is a sandwich you gotta take part. The uh, gyros were delicious as well. Absolutely loved that. Um, so moist, they love the kind of white sauce, that hot sauce, really just like an authentic you know, New York experience. This big, huge chicken sandwich we had here, guys, that was huge, but very delicious. I was thoroughly impressed with that, great with their hot sauce. Um, yeah, I liked it all. So, that one family do get a meal for fruit, which is pretty cool. We do get a uh, hat, I believe. Um, and that's about that. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, until next time, I definitely recommend coming here, and if you do, Tell them I said hello, tell them I sent you, tell them you saw this guy eat way too much of their food. But don't eat all these in one sitting. Maybe over the span of a couple of weeks, but you know, you just just you don't need to do what I do. So I thought everyone, like I said, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of this meal with this challenge down below. And at that, till next time, Samuel Henry, and happy eating. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.